Well friends, those damn ads got me again. Iconic London kept showing the perfect pout and I had to buy it. And then if I spent a little more money, I got free shipping. So that came in, what is this, the sheer blush. And then of course I got a free gift. So we're gonna talk about them. Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Jennifer. I am into all things hair, skin, and makeup. And if you are too, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button because you know you're gonna come back for more. Some of you may recognize this look from my last video. That's right, I'm filming multiple videos in one. Girls gotta save time. But today is all about the Perfect Pout from Iconic London. I kept seeing this in all of my feeds. It was literally like I was being trolled by Iconic London. And every time I would see it, I would just, I would literally watch it. I wouldn't scroll past, I would watch. Because the model's lips looked so pretty. They just had this like glossy ballet pink to them and I just kept thinking, oh, they're so pretty. And then finally I was like, I gotta buy that. So I just hit the little arrow over, ended up at the website, and I picked the set that she had on. So this is the lip liner in the shade Unbothered. And this is their, what are they call it, Dream Lip Balm? No, Melting Touch Lip Balm. And it's in the shade Undone. I'm gonna put a picture in or a video of what was trolling me for so long. And we're gonna compare if this looks like that because I tried it out once before and results were not optimal. All I have on my lips today is my Tatcha lip mask, and I kind of feel like I want to go on the, the blush first. Like, I just want to get it out of the way. Can we do that really quick? This is the Sheer Blush in the shade Fresh Faced. I do very often like to test out makeup before I get in the shower so it's on a clean, bare face, and when I put this on, I was wowed. I have a hard time wearing blush on bare skin. It just just because of my skin, like how pale it is, but yet it has hyperpigmentation, putting blush on top usually looks weird. This has such a beautiful sheerness to it. That is way too much. I would probably use that for my entire face if I was gonna be bronzing with this shade too. It blends out super easily. It has this like lightweight, almost watery feel to it. It doesn't feel sticky or tacky, but it does dry down, which is huge because sometimes cream blushes don't dry down and that's not optimal for me especially in the summertime when I want kind of a bare face but fresh and pretty look. I need things to set because in the humidity, I can't be having it move around. Blah, blah, stop talking, woman, and get it on your cheeks. They recommend using your fingertips. You know it's not my favorite, but we're going to do it. I didn't put on any bronzer today because I really wanted to see this because it is so sheer. I do have a little bit of contour, um, that biscuit shade from Westman Atelier. All right, you can see immediately. It is just the most bare neutral color. You can layer and layer and layer and we all know that is what I love to do with blush. But can you see how, like especially on bare skin, so for those of you who don't wear a lot of makeup or don't even wear foundation at all, this I think would be perfect for you. Now here it is looking natural, a little, a little bit glossy, but it doesn't have like, it doesn't have that feel like my hair is going to get stuck in it. Now I think a lot of us know I do like to actually bring it above my brow bone. Yeah, it just adds a little bit of oomph. Now I went over top of foundation. I have on today the House Labs foundation. I don't have any powder on my face. I was afraid that it would break up with powder and I'm sticking by that. I don't think that this, I wanna try it, but I don't wanna try it. You know what I'm saying? Cause I could really screw up everything here. I'm gonna go with a little more. Let's see how much we can build this up. All right, I think that's as much color as we're gonna get out of it, but you can see how it is easily buildable. It has like a sheerness to it, a beautiful glow. It does dry down. I'm gonna do the other side and I'll show you them both together. All right, so I added a little bronzer, setting powder and finishing powder, then I set the face and I really like it. I think so far it's like a lovely, neutral, natural shade. I am kind of blown away by how much I really like this. It's super duper pretty. All right, but now let's get on to the perfect pout. I'm just gonna wipe off the excess of my Tatcha. All right, so buying the set together, the lip liner and the lip balm, it was $32.80. It's a savings of a little over $8, so yay for that. Um, I Like I said, I got the exact shades that the girl had on, so the liner is in the shade Unbothered. Let's just get it on. It's only lip liner, folks. Uh, she did overline a little bit, and that is my deal lately, too, because the volume has been leaving the door. Even the door. It's been leaving the house. I do like that there's this smudger on the end. It's a little firm, which is nice. All right, so right off the bat, that is not a shade I would have normally chose. It's just, 
I feel like it's a little more on the orange side than what is in my wheelhouse, but I'm fine with it. It's okay. All right, so now the lip balm. This is in the shade Undone, the Melting Touch Lip Balm. So I went to like screw this up and you can't. You don't like hold the top I found. You have to hold it by the first little gold part and you screw it from this part here. And that's when it'll go up for you. It clicks. Now in the video, the girl was like going in and in and in. I'm gonna show you what happens with just an easy in. All right, that's just one pass. She went in ham, so I'm gonna two. All right, now here's the thing. It feels great. I like the amount of coverage it has. I just feel like the shade is nowhere near what the shade is in the picture. The shade in the picture just looked pinker to me, and this looks more like neutral, natural, kind of 90s-ish, and that's really not my vibe. Plus, do you see, I get that line there. It looks a little milky, and it's not my vibe. One of the things you can do is like pull your finger through like that, and that helps it, but then you gotta move it around a little more. Here's what I'll say. I like the formula a lot. It feels amazing. I like that it has like actual pigment to it for a lip balm. You can see it is pretty peachy. In that damn video, it looks more pink. And we all know I love pink. Now with this overall look, I think it's fine because the cheeks are more of a natural color. The eyes are in like the more orangish natural shade. So I think it works with this look. I tend to gravitate more towards pink blushes, pink eyeshadows. So I don't think this is right for that. I think I would need to get a more pink shade, but it does feel really, really great. The one thing I don't like is I can't turn it down when I've turned it up. So I have to hope that it's not going to like get smashed in the cap. Let's just see. Okay. <gasps> it didn't get smashed. So you can have it up a little bit and it's not going to get wrecked. Thank goodness. But this is why I usually don't buy products online. I have to usually buy them in store because the shade, the shade, if it's off, it just makes me mental. And for me, this shade is off for what I normally like. Ugh. I opened my window because it's a beautiful spring day and I can hear like power. I don't know what that is. Some sort of lawn equipment happening out there. Sorry. And then lastly, the free gift that they sent me, this is their lip plumping gloss in the shade Peekaboo. I would have never ever picked this shade out. I did put it on my bare lips just to see, and it's fine. As you can see, the one thing that bothered me about this, I don't know if you guys have noticed, it seems like the little holes inside, they're there to like take off excess product. It takes off too much product. I had to keep going in and in and in to like just do my lips once. Super duper annoying. But as you can see, the shade isn't offensive. You don't even notice it when it's on my lips. So it's totally fine. It does have a slight tingling. It's not painful at all. I didn't mind it. The only thing I don't like about lip plumpers is if I can taste it and then if I go drink or eat something, then it's in my mouth. I didn't do that because I know better. Should we put this over top just to see? I mean, can a gloss go over top this kind of a shiny lip balm? Let's see. Mm. Mm. Is it making it any shinier? I mean, that's the thing. This lip balm is pretty dang shiny. Oh, in, 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 in. Don't love the component. I can feel it on my lips. So I know it made it there. Um, I feel like it kind of made the lip balm color go away. So they don't play well together. That's fine. I normally wouldn't use them together anyway, so it's not a big deal. All right, so I'm going to give this cheek color a solid 10 out of 10. I love it. The Perfect Pout Duo, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I do like the formulas of both. I don't think the shade was quite right for me. I'm going to get another shade at some point and we'll see. So it's not what I saw on Instagram, so that makes me mental, but it's still pretty good. And then a free lip gloss. I mean, that's always 10 out of 10. So there you have it, you guys. A quick little video on Iconic London trolling me on Instagram and winning. I'll, of course, leave these products linked in the description box below. And if you guys have had any experience with these, put it in the comments so I know that I'm not the only one who was trapped. All right, you guys, that's all for today. So as always, I want to thank you so much for being with me, and I'll see you real soon. Mm -hmm.